Salutations, Whiskey Fiends. It's me, Whiskey Lung, the guy who broke into the Coliseum and planted three live raccoons in the women's changing rooms right before the Brooks and Dunn concert last July. Here to tell you all about how to unlock the Galil Arm variant uh, light machine gun for the operator class in Battlefield Headline. Yes, that's right, I said light machine gun. It's actually how the weapon is classified, and the balancing for this weapon really speaks to its class of weapon, but we'll get to that in a little minute here. You might remember the Galil Ace in Battlefield 4. It is, of course, the successor to the Galil IMI, which is the core model of the Galil Arm, uh, an Israeli-built weapon that borrowed heavily from the AK-47. The Galil series of weapons is in use with military and police forces in over 25 countries. An interesting fact about the Galil Arm is that the bipod quickly detaches, and to my understanding, it can be used as a multi-tool, but also has a bottle opener, because apparently the magazines uh, were being used used and damaged for opening bottles and adding the bottle opener to the bipod supposedly circumvented this. I'm not sure how legitimate that fact is, but interesting nonetheless. Now let's talk about the stats. If you are already familiar with the stats of the Operator class assault rifles, you're going to be taking a hard look at these stats because I'll tell you right off the bat, you're taking a massive hit to the overall weapon practicality here using the arm. Uh, we're looking at a max damage of 25, minimum damage of 15, which is low. Its damage drop off is at a miserable 25 meters for god knows what reason, please give that a buff. Its fire rate is a pitiful, although I think very suiting uh, 630 RPM considering that it is a light machine gun. Its muzzle velocity is at a wimpy 410 meters per second and now it's magazine size. This is where the weapon excels. Its magazine size is at a somewhat hefty 51 which is unique for Battlefield Hardline. Of course an LMG is not typical for police force so you're not going to see a lot of those uh, in the base version of the game anyhow. They're able to make it somewhat feasible as well because the arm is of course being used as a police weapon uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, it's kind of a one-off gun. It has more ammunition in the magazine than the rest aside of course the battle pickups like the Pig and the MG36. Its reload is 3.6 seconds empty and it's 2.1 seconds with ammo still in the mag which again is a unique number. 2.1 seconds for a short reload time is pretty darn good. But these two qualities, uh, the ammunition and the short reload time, uh, coupled with its low recoil stats, it does have pretty good recoil stats, does not redeem this absolutely terribly balanced weapon. Effectively, it's just a novelty weapon. Uh, you use this weapon if you like the weapon, if you're fond of the real life model, if you like the sound it makes, the look, the weapon will not be your belt around your tryhard pants. Now that I've explained all that, I'm sure you're just frothing at the mouths wanting to unlock this absolutely shitty weapon by completing its complex and grindy class syndicate achievement. No? Well, maybe you're one of the people with the foresight to have skipped from the beginning of the video to this point to avoid me ruining too much of the allure of this extremely impressive, overpowered, and borderline cheatsy god weapon. Here are the unlock credentials for this uh, syndicate achievement. You'll have to have completed the previous two operator class achievements, and if you haven't already done so, you can watch my video about how to do so right here. So this is fairly straightforward, but I'm going to try to do my best here to help you guys most easily complete this achievement. So I've made this cute little cheat sheet for you guys. Get used to it because I think this is going to be my format for my future videos on unlocking. Uh, you're going to want to throw down first aid packs and use your defib as much as possible. These two team based actions can net you big points helping you reach that gold service star and works towards reaching your 15 revive coins and uh, 15 first aid pack coins while of course getting you to the uh, reach the track tier 4 reputation if you manage to make a big enough dent with your squad to do so. Next I really want to encourage you to stick with conquest and deathmatch. Less so deathmatch but of course deathmatch is a quick fun way to score those assault rifle kills you so sorely need but 200 kills comes pretty naturally if you're just playing Conquest grinding for the syndica Syndicate achievement anyhow. Uh, Conquest is, in my opinion, the best, most easy way to achieve your rep 4 tracked requirements as well. So keep in mind that your rep stat is reset when your squad wipes and that bigger squads will undoubtedly accumulate more points rather than smaller squads. So jump into a big squad and make sure that your squad doesn't wipe. I want to mention here that it's probably pretty fucking easy to boost this shit as well, and I've seen big community managers, not mentioning any names here, 
telling his viewers to do this. I really don't recommend this. It's so cheap and according to the terms of service, some of this could get your account reset, you could be banned, and your friends might make fun of you for being a filthy loser that couldn't do the achievement on the legit. Lastly, IRNB sites, smoke grenades, and the map, the block. Enough said. I'll leave a link in the description for the best grinding server. Don't use explosives, you'll be kicked and eventually banned. Uh, not a great idea, but that's going to do it for me, Whiskey Fiends. Thank you so much for watching the video. If it did help you out, hit the like button. It's your free way to help me out. It helps me with search results. Uh, subscribe if you're not already a Whiskey Fiend to stay updated on my latest videos. And like always, I'll see you down in those comments.